Hello, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes. In the last episode, I believe we solved the case of the Abbey Grange murder with with the help from Sherlock's trusted companion, Toby, I think his name was. Oh, that's gonna be bad of me. But today, we're actually starting a new case. Well, we started it in the last episode. I mean, we didn't start anything to do with the case in the last episode. The, it was just a cutscene that introduces the case. And I think Sherlock said that we might be dealing with a murder kind of theft kind of thing. I, I'm not sure. But I suppose we'll find out. Ow. Oh yeah. Oh god, is, is it still? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, Toby. I wasn't aware that you were Watson's new literary agent. A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Have I unlocked any... I know this might be a bit daft, but I, have I unlocked any new outfits? <laughs> what outfit shall I go with? I'll go with the brown. All right, let's have a look at the makeup table. Dressing like that. Uh. What facial hair can I give him, if any? Anyway, right, let's get on with it. Wait, look at the contrast between their bedrooms. So, so looks got a single bed. A bust and a fireplace. Right. Watson. He has got. Look at it. It's not as bad, but Jesus. This is where I keep my post. Oh. Alright, let's go to Kew Garden, shall we? I just realised Sherlock is reading the, the book that you actually get to look at with the deductions and the clues and everything. How do I not know this, sir? Hmm, what deductions can we make for a case that we haven't even started yet? From what I can remember the first time I played this game, I I didn't really enjoy this case very much. What I did with the first case, where I just um, skipped a rather big chunk of it. Well, Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful, but are you really intent yes. on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. What are we doing, Holmes? Let us find someone who could help us. We've literally just got here, Watson. Give us a chance. 
Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Hello. If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house? Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert! Show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Right. I don't want to accuse anyone just yet, but maybe Albert stole This is stole the place them. where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... he was my father. Oh, dear. Ah. Our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house. Holmes? Yes. Just here. Near the doors of the colonial collection. Don't be so rude. He suffered a heart attack. Just like that. So suddenly. <sighs> it was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. I was... I was going to say that the... The theft of the plants caused um, his heart attack, but the plants were stolen two days after, the not plants two days were here. before. All of them were... Do not touch. Ooh. All right. According to Albert, this is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Oh. The traces right. are thinner in some places. These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. Well, he probably staggered out to get help whilst he was having a heart attack. Maybe I'm not a detective, the but... The Esconson was breached near the handle. The what? What the hell is an Esconson? The Esconsen? door was smashed at shoulder height. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot.
The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. Okay. These oh. trees with their roots in water must originate from Louisiana. Ah, yes, the bayou. I remember our visit in the case of The Awakened. Here is a list How old of is Sherlock, plants. Sherlock in these games? search for anything else whilst I'm here. What are you doing? Very strange. Half of the colonial collection is absent. The smell is strong. It is a detergent. This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. These windows were perfectly cleaned. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly clean. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. come from all the okay. territories of the British Empire. Uh, according to this, that? they have light. According to this, they have light Whoops. and moisture control in some parts of the building. Blood. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Someone fell violently against this sign, and they were injured in a clash. Most likely a head wound. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Hey! Wait. So we broke the door, looked over the... Right, so we came in. Staggered. Knocked the pot on the floor. Fell over, hit his head. This reconstruction know. reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? I'm not being funny, he was having a heart attack, so maybe it was, maybe he was panicking. I'm going to go back to Baker Street because I think I've got to analyse some plants. No, not analyse some plants, look for some plants in the archives. 
You know, the first time I ever did that, this case, that section took me for eight, took me, took me ages. I was gonna say it took me ages and took me forever, so I went for ages. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So where would it be then? No. That is not the one. That is. That is. That is not. That is not the one I. Scotland Yard, I believe. I am really looking forward to playing uh, The Devil's Daughter on this channel as well. Because, like, I don't want to play The Devil's Daughter straight after Sherlock Holmes because, like, I... I want a lot of variety on this channel as well. So I am going to play Sherlock Holmes the Devil's Daughter at some point, I'm just not sure when. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. That was quick. Well then again. You're right there, mate. Jesus. Mr. Holmes? Oh, where's the autopsy room? I've forgotten. Locked. Oh, here it is. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. There is so an that's injury the bruise to the skull, where he his head. most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. Uh, the vessel eyes. and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. No redness, stings, or bruises. Nothing suspicious here. Let us examine the internal organs. Jesus, Watson! The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. Okay. Uh, lungs. Is, is that how autopsies are really um, conducted? A doctor just cuts the patient open and just takes out the organs like he's The lungs just... are congested and edematous. Of course they are. I knew that. The oh, tissue Jesus. on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. 
Ow! What about the liver? The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. The body has such... Body parts is so weirdly shaped. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. My suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning, plant poisoning to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, yeah, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson. It is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. He sounded quite um, psychopathic when he did that. Q guard Q gardens it is I guess then Don't know why I'm going to the door, I can just do that. It appears that Sherlock is reading an actual book, but really it's the deduction book with all the clues and the objectives in that I look at. Clever. Meanwhile... Let's do this character portrait. Hmm. He's got dirt on his collar. Mr. Hamish, K 
Can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure, then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. Exactly. I cannot be everywhere at once. All right, fair, valid point. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. As deputy director, how was your relationship with Montague Dunn? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. Okay, but wait. Dunn was the director and he is the executive, no, the assistant director. So maybe he murdered Dunn, so he would take over as the, as the director. Maybe I'm... Mm. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the all. London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And... He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. He was a man whore. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Any... Just be careful with the plants during your inspection. You know what? Now that you've said that, I'm just going to go o go o up to the plants and just Locked. kick them all over. God. What about this one? Is this locked as well? Locked. Yes. Okay, I'm lost. Locked. Oh, you've got me to me. There is a smell of burning. You're an inspector, you're not a fireman. Colonial Collection. Water Lily Greenhouse. What should we do next, Holmes? Really? I've Director's just got to go office, off and select all of them. And laboratory. Palm House. Dry Tropics. Ventilation system. Seed house. Nursery. Reserve. Anything else? A map of Kew Gardens. There we go. What should we do next, home? Move. I keep wanting to press A to run because that's how you run in Grand Theft Auto and I've been playing it a lot recently. The symbol is 
Not from Kew Gardens. I hope you wore gloves when picking that up. A door handle? Oh, it's the Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. The remains of a that? picture frame. A broom handle was half burned. Uh, okay. That is a terrifying. Mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. Is there anything else I can look at? The plants were set. Oh. Right. Is there anything in you? Dry tropics. These flower pots are beautiful. They are intended to be used for exhibition purposes. Are chipping one the on. symbol is not from Kew Gardens. Okay, where is everyone? Okay, it would appear I've gone in. Wait, have I? It would appear that I have gone in circles. Okay, I haven't been in here, I don't think. Can I help you, gentlemen? You can, mate. Jeez. That's what it was. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, oh, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's Impressive. footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. 
We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah, oh, at the moment I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens. And I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Well, you don't have to. Like, if, if you don't want to work at Kew Gardens, you shouldn't. But it is, it is quite honourable and valiant that you're following in your father's footsteps. But my point still stands. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the deputy director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the deputy director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed. That is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honour of being the garden's longest serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have yeah. a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. Okay. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Yeah, that's fair enough. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Right. Right. Okay. Um, we are going to meet up with Miss White. Is that her name? Yes, we are going to meet up with Miss White in the next episode. So, we've got a good introduction to this case in so far. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to more episodes of Sherlock Holmes. I think this is the last but one case. I think there's one more. I think there's one more case after this, and then that's the end of the game. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed this game so far. It's brilliant. Um, I highly recommend you guys play this yourselves, it's, it's so much fun. Um, and I am aware that I keep skipping the, the mini-games, because I'm just... I, I don't want to spend too long on them. Because like, I, I want to concentrate on the story rather than the actual mini-games. Um, so... So, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, and subscribe to see more episodes. And I will see you very soon.